All right, guys, what's up? Obviously, you know, we had a pretty good night last night, three-man limit up on the tubing. Um, fish all night, the work doesn't end. Um, you, know, you gotta get all this good meat off these fish. Uh, we're down to the last fish here. Um, just gonna show you how I do it. Um, it goes relatively quick. Sometimes you use the regular fillet knife. You can use the electric fillet knife, smaller smaller end fish. Uh, you know, I prefer to use just a regular knife. So first off, you know, you got all your good meat right here. And then you got your cheek meat. Um, you know, I like to make it with omelets or anything. Uh, there's lots of options for it, so I cut that out usually. Um, so what you're gonna do, you're gonna start right here on the dorsal fin. You're gonna cut angly right here. Come down the spine. I come to like right right at the back of the tail here, and then I just cut it off at the end, fillet it off, and you end up with this. And then uh, I'll show you guys here in a little bit what I do with that. So just start here, cut, cut down the backbone, stick the knife the whole way through, and down. And just kind of work your hand up. Cut that off, boom, one fillet. So here for the cheek, I like to flip it around. Just kind of work your work your knife in there. It's like a nice little medallion. Turns into like a little shallot. So right there, I just kind of worked my knife the whole way around. Got to right behind the eye. I made a little cut. And it's kind of cool, you can just peel it off. There's a skin left there. You got a nice little medallion to eat. Okay. So the same other side. Cut. Work down the backbone. Cut off. Run your hand up through the top. Just work on top of them, them ribs there. Good, good. good enough cut right there. I don't really mess with the belly meat. There ain't too much on these, and I don't like eating them all that well. So, cut out your eye piece here. Little cheek meat. Like I said, I like making them with omelets. It's a little different. Not many people are like, ooh, fish and omelets, but it's pretty good. My cousin gave me the idea. Um, you know, and I rock and roll with it. There you go, there you, you got a clean fish and their cheek meat. All the fillets are off of it. So that was my last fish filleting. Um, so we're going to, to get the fillets off the skin now. Um, I start with a tail end. Uh, you can see this knife has more, this is more of a stiffer knife. It don't have much bend. I like a knife with, with a little bend uh, to get you flat right off the off the skin there. Sharpen real quick. Clean it off. So right here, I'm just gonna make an incision on the tailpiece, grab onto this end, and then I'm just gonna work my knife the whole way at the bottom of it. And it'll give me a nice, clean piece of meat. Maybe if I can hold on to it. So there. Got your clean piece of meat, got your skin, that goes in the trash. Um, here, I'll do another one for you. So a tail end right here. Make a little cut at the back. A lot of people use a fork, and they'll put the fork right at the end here. I didn't grab a fork, and I'm feeling a little lazy today, so I don't feel like going to get one out of the house. All right, so there's your two fillets there. Skin, garbage. Okay, and then my cousin also, he showed me this little thing, it's called the zipper. So you got the mud line and the ribs right there running through. You're gonna make a cut on this side of it and this side of it and make it like a zipper. So 
I'll make a cut on the left side, the right side. So then you're gonna end up, you're gonna end up with three chunks like that. All you do is grab it. There's a little slab of meat there. Boom, there's your filet. There's the ribs, you can fill them in there. Little chunks. And I always just kind of slide my hand back along the rib line, make sure there's no ribs left in there. But usually the zipper technique gets, gets done, gets rid of them pretty well. So start with the tail end again, cut here, cut here. Kind of creates that zipper effect. What you do, this knife sucks. Zipper effect. Pull it off, chunk of meat. Cut a little too far over on that one. Chunk of meat, you're good to go. All right, guys, uh, if you got any questions on how I did this, um, I'm sure I'll be catching more fish here in the next couple weekends. Hopefully, anyhow, uh, the bite's just getting hot. If you have any questions, uh, leave any comments or questions below. I'll be happy to answer them. But that's how I fillet my walleyes. Um, you know, every, every person has their different way of filleting walleyes. But I hope this guy's helps you, or this helps you guys. Um, and your filleting process just kind of makes it a little quicker. Thanks, guys.